Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez back again. We're going to talk about cartridge chips. What is it that they are reporting? Two things primarily. They identify the color of the cartridge. In other words, what color ink is supposed to be in this cartridge, that cartridge, that cartridge. So the chip on this yellow cartridge has a ID code for yellow CLI-42 cartridge. The same thing goes with this one. This chip has an ID code for cyan for an Epson T1592 cartridge. The same thing goes for this one. This is for the R3000. And it says, hey, I'm photo black. Okay, don't mistake me for matte black. And so these ID codes will tell the printer that in that slot you have a yellow cartridge in that slot you have a cyan cartridge and so on and also they report the ink levels now those ink levels are not an exact science the reason being is that the chip has no way to physically communicate with the actual volume of ink left or residing at that point inside that cartridge it just doesn't know as i said on a previous video you have to make sure using this type of cartridge, refillable type, to make sure that the volume of ink in the cartridge matches the level of ink indicated by the chip. So if I was to reset this cartridge, I wanna make darn sure that I top off the cartridge so that the two match, the two conditions match. It's full on the chip and it's also physically full in the cartridge. So that will be the most accurate way to run that type of cartridge all right so the question i get asked the most and this should be like total common sense are the chips interchangeable well you know they look physically the same identical if i was to pull out the rest of my refillable r3000 cartridges all the chips look the same okay god forbid i remove some of the chips and get them mixed up because there's no code anywhere that tells me don't worry i'm a photo black cartridge chip okay or i'm a cyan cartridge chip no there is no indication on the chip itself so no they are not interchangeable is what i'm trying to say there is no way in god's green earth that a manufacturer is going to be able to produce interchangeable chips it just cannot because every printer expects to see a code, nothing to do with ink levels, but a code telling it that, yes, that chip corresponds to a CLI-8 is what this is, okay, Canon cartridge, and it has to be yellow. So if I take that chip and put it on a magenta CLI-8, it will not be recognized. And I put that cartridge in a magenta slot, it will not be accepted, okay? so. That's it. There is no interchangeability. Make sure that you remember that. Okay. It's almost every week I get asked that. They want to know if they can just, you know, do I have to really buy individual chips for each cartridge when I need to exchange the chips, say they go bad or whatever? Yes, you do. Especially in situations like the Pro 1 and this printer right here where you have to actually buy chips to be able to use them. These are single use chips. Every time your cartridge runs empty, according to the ink level by the chip, you remove that chip, you toss it, and you insert a new one. That new one is already pre-programmed to full condition. You top off the cartridge and you put it back in. I cannot put another chip in this cartridge except for a photo black. I cannot put another chip in any of these cartridges except the one that is supposed to be matching that color the same thing with the pro one so the chips are color specific position specific pretty much everything specific all right remember that okay they're not interchangeable all right that's enough for that thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and share and like and until the next time happy printing everybody bye-bye